everyone is allowed to tell you what things in with you today and give you the tonic of this week. I believe you'll be watching our tonics and I believe you'll be enjoying it and you're taking this tonic into our life. Okay, not waste much of our time. I will give you the tonic of this week. We will be talking about Ayomi. The love. Is the tonic, I don't really know the topic, but it's a question. Why are you in sin? Why are you in this world? And why are you going to end in insanity? Let me just put it that way. At first, why are you in sin? Is a question. The question is why are you in sin? Why are you still moved by the things of this world? Why are you still in sin? Is a question. Are you in sin because of money? Are you in sin because of money? In your Bible verse, I talk about seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things will be added unto you. I, I'm not saying money is not good, but are you taking the right path to get that money? Are you taking the legit way? Even there are some things that are legit, that are legal, but they are sinful. They are sinful. And you may know that they are sinful. So please let us, don't let us be moved by the things of this world. And don't let us start getting money just to be fed or fed. I know things aren't easy in this age and you know, but with God, all things are possible. Yeah? So please seek him first the kingdom of God. Seek God first. Seek him first. Have you tried God? Try him. Try him and nothing, 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 nothing. You will lack nothing. That is it. Seek him first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things will be added to you. So why are you seeing him? Are you seeing because of power? Which power do you need? Being God, you have the power over everything. You can, with the power of God, you trample over all serpents. So, are you, in, are you in sin because of power? Are you in sin because of struggles? Are you in sin because of troubles? There's a particular verse in the Bible that talks about, Come me, come to me, ye that are heaven living, and I will give them rest. He will give you rest, heaven living. Are you having this slogan? You Are you having this struggles? In that everything, everything you need is in his word, just in one person. It's in God, God. It's in God, God. Come to me. Are you passing through some challenge? Is it money? Struggles? Challenge is their money also. Is it money? Is it healing? Are you in one sickness? Are you in one part of any challenges that you don't have to stop? And you are going from one place to another because you thought that your life is useless. No, your life is not useless when you have God. Just have God. Having, receiving, accepting, salvation. It's cheap. Very cheap. The only thing you can invest on and you receive. You invest, you will not even invest. What are you investing? You are not investing money. You are just investing your heart to him. Give him your all. It's salvation. If salvation is your thing, you need salvation of the Lord. You are not investing anything. You are not investing, but you are what? Just accept him. Accept him as your personal Lord and Savior. And he will give you everything, anything you need. You repent it. You turn from your sin. Stop your sin, you sanctify, cut off anything that brings sin around you. That's what you just need from you. I don't know why you are seeing sin. Keep on why are you in this world? We talk about purpose. You are in this world to fulfill a purpose. Why are you in this world? Are you here to just come to this world? Okay, God just sent you to this world to enjoy this world. Yeah? You are in this world to a purpose. Have you discovered that purpose? Before you can discover that purpose, you have to know God. Everything just it goes just to it. Oh, no God. So with all this, and why are you going to? Why are you going to? In eternity, are you going to hell or heaven? It's two places. You might have decision to know where you want to go. For you, for you, the best place to go to is what heaven. And to go to heaven, you have to know God. Everything all goes back to what? To know God. To know God. To know Christ. Because he died for you, he loves you. Don't think that you are in these struggles because you just love God loves you. Despite your sin, no matter the way you sin, he still loves you. But make make that love come to existence in your life because he loves you. But to, to make him show for the love in your life, you have to know God, you have to know Christ. So with all this, I'm just trying to tell you that in this world, with everything that we acquire. Mm-hmm. Taking everything to, to, to internet, to the, what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? You lose your soul. So 
So when you your tonight else, you gain the word, you have money, you are known, you have power, you have the name, you are enjoying the word, fornicating, doing fraud, masturbating. Which are they talking to you? No matter the amount of years you use on this earth, it's not compared to the amount of years you are going to use with God. So with this, I believe you gain one or two things. And the grace for what you win with God at the end will grant unto you and I. So I want to pray with those of you that you watch the video and you have this, this mind to receive Christ. Oh Lord, we pray for those that have received your word. We pray you continue to speak to them. Because I know I can't do it on my own. It's by your grace, Christ. Oh Lord, perfect your work. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Bless the name of the Lord for what He did in our life today. So this is all for the Sunday for teaching. And please anticipate our next Sunday and our next movie that is coming up. And please don't forget to like, comment, share. Thank you. Thanks so much.